a different position today with a not plain backdrop just because it's rainy and the lighting is not really very good anywhere. You can hear the birds in the background, they're driving me insane too, so that is not just you. <laughs> and the dogs are outside because they decided that because I was on the couch that they would start playing on top of me. So I'll just grab my little list here. I don't feel like a lot has really happened this week. Except there are, of course, a few really, really exciting things. I've noticed that I'm getting quite a lot of growing cramps just sort of in, in your tummy, obviously. It's nothing to worry about. They're just growing cramp kind of things. Because my tummy is definitely, definitely growing. I feel like... It seems to be bursting out of nowhere. Like you guys will probably look at it and be like, oh, it doesn't look that much different. But to me, it feels and looks insanely different. Still been getting sciatic pain at nighttime when I go to lie down, which is driving me insane a little bit, just because I get stuck in tight positions and kind of can't get out a little bit. And it really does hurt. One really, really good thing is my morning sickness has stopped. So I'm on, well, I was on a six day streak a few days ago, but Ricky won't mind me telling you this, but I'll tell you anyway. He farted after we had curry the night before and I couldn't handle it. So my streak was back to zero because I threw up absolutely everywhere because of his farts. So. That wasn't very nice at all. I've been having quite a bit of anxiety about hospitals. I don't like doctors, I don't like hospitals, I don't like any of that sort of stuff. So it is a little bit nerve wracking for me knowing that I'm gonna have to go to one to give birth. And to sort of overcome that, because I am seeing a psychologist just, you know, to help with my anxiety a little bit, now, instead of focusing on everyday anxiety, we're focusing on the hospital anxiety. One of the most exciting things that has started happening in the last week especially, when I was sort of 16 weeks, I kind of, that was when I first felt this weird little bubble feeling in my tummy. And then when I was 17 weeks, you could feel it a bit more, and now this week, 18 weeks. My goodness. Every single morning when I wake up, I can feel this little sort of vibration in my tummy. And at night time, if I get in certain positions, and I, I can feel it. And it's absolutely amazing feeling a little human growing in there. It's the size of a capsicum this week, supposedly. So at night time, Ricky and I will like poke on my belly. And, you know, we'll find a spot that is really, really hard. And you can just tell that that is a little baby. And then usually after we've poked it for a little bit, to start feeling these little vibrations again. It's not enough for Ricky to feel on the outside yet, which is a huge shame, but that is going to come really, really soon. I just know it. Now I wanna talk about my cravings because they happen all the time. So I've been craving chocolate soy milk quite a lot or iced coffee soy milk. But we went to the health food store a few days ago and got this. Now this is the best drink that I've had in my entire life. I've kept the bottle because I want to try and replicate it, which I know I'm never going to be able to do to this standard because it was the most delicious thing that I've ever had in my life. They have like a dirty chai and a golden turmeric one as well. But it is absolutely delicious and I'm going to try and make this in the kitchen by copying all the ingredients that are on the back here. I've also really, really, really been craving cheesecake and Ricky brought one yesterday for me. But then we went to his parents for a few hours, which was really fun. And then when we got back, he wouldn't let me eat it. So I was really pissed off about that because there was this beautiful cheesecake sitting in the fridge and I couldn't eat it. But he's coming home early today, so that means I technically have to have it when, like earlier now because he told me that as soon as he gets home from work, I'm allowed to have it. And he's going to be home in like the next 20 minutes, so. I've also been craving apples. I have at least one apple a day. 
does not keep the doctor away because I have to go to checkups, unfortunately, but <laughs> I'm loving apples at the moment. And of course my green beans, they're just life. I also, another thing that I find really interesting is I don't like banana smoothies anymore. I was really, really into them last, uh, when I was like 16, 17 weeks, and now I'm just totally off them. And the thought of it just makes me feel really sick. So I've stopped having banana smoothies. So that is it for that sort of stuff. And I just wanted to show you a few little things that I got recently. So Ricky's parents got us a little 12 pack of face washes. They're really cute. I don't know why I had to show you guys, but they're just super cute. There's like little fish and ducks and I don't know. They're just really cute. And I had to show you guys because they're new. I've also started getting crafty again, which is awesome that my energy is back and that I'm wanting to craft things again. And I got these two, I ordered these two containers from eBay a while ago. And of course, because they came from China, it takes a little while. And they're wipe containers for our homemade wipes that I've been making. And look. I worked out how to fold them so that it's almost as if you actually, you know, it's a pack of wipes. So I've got two different types. These ones are kind of thicker and a bit more um, rough, I suppose I'd say. And then, yeah, these ones are flannel, so they're really, really soft. And yeah, we've got enough of these, and, and I made some micro fleece liners for the nappies as well. So basically, nappy wise, we are pretty much 99, oh, whoops, 99% set. I, I've also had some little wooden animals for a while because I was, you know, because the baby was planned, we always, I, I always had ideas for different little crafty things. And so this is, this is the bird version and that's what they looked like before I polished them with my homemade wood polish. And then this is afterwards. So there's a really big difference between them and I think they look absolutely beautiful. So there's a few birds, another bird, and then there's a little fishy, uh, an elephant, an owl, that's it, and then a few more birds as well. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm actually going to do with them yet, but they're really, really cute and I don't know, I just love them. I'm thinking maybe just if I like dangle them off something with a few more beads on it and then they can just be little things just to take around places and because they're wooden as well I, I prefer wooden toys and it's belly time by the way my tummy has been really really hairy since I've fallen pregnant so that is why you are not seeing the holy hairy tummy until I'm actually popping so here's the belly I'm still in the same top as last time because I wanted to keep it in the same top so that you guys can see it grow in the top. So here is the stain from my wrap that I ate at 17 weeks pregnant. Here is from the front. And here is the side. I'll just, there you go, so you can kind of see it pouches out. I don't think it looks that big this week. But then it feels really big and if I look from the top, it definitely looks big. So that is my rock hard little baby bump. With a little baby kicking around in there. I can feel little vibrations right in here. Beautiful little thing. So that's all for this week. I hope that you enjoyed. I don't think my belly's changed that much in the last week. So apologies there, but it's definitely starting to grow and hopefully next week you guys will look at it and be like, wow! And I'll have some other cool things to talk about. So thank you for watching and 
I will see you next week. Bye.